Welcome back. Today I'm continuing the process to convert my 1981 DeLorean into an electric vehicle. And on today's episode, I drive the electric DeLorean for the very first time. To catch you up quickly, I've taken the entire drivetrain out of a Chevy Bolt, the electric motor, the inverter, the charger, the batteries, the electronics, everything, and swapped it into the DeLorean. This is Project Lightning. Before we jump into the car, there is something that you're not going to see today, and that is advertisements. I have decided to remove all YouTube monetization on all of the Project Lightning series. So hopefully you will see far fewer ads going forward. Frankly, I hate ads. I think it makes people less likely to watch my videos and to recommend my channel to other people. Also, last month I made $10 off of YouTube ads, so I just don't think it's worth it anymore. I also want to explain some continuity issues you might see in the video. If you're watching this video right when it comes out, you're going to be surprised to find that the steering works, and the brakes work, and the rear battery pack has been redesigned, along with a bunch of other things. I promise that videos on those things are coming. But I want to get the first drive video out as soon as possible, so it's taking priority over those other videos. With all of that out of the way, let me give you a tour of the car. Starting here at the back of the vehicle, we have the rear battery box, which is the large black box here, and it contains half of the batteries. Mounted on the right side in that orange piece is the contactor box. It handles turning the high voltage system on and off for the whole vehicle. Then here on the left, we have the high power distribution module and it's mounted to the frame and is connected over to the contactor box. And it allows us to send high voltage to all of the subcomponents. The charger module handles AC charging from a wall socket converting that AC into DC that the battery can use. Under the charger here in front of the battery pack is the inverter, also known as the motor controller. It converts the high voltage DC power into three phase AC power that the motor can use. And the motor is located under here where it's very hard to see. I also have some low voltage cabling over here in this area. Now let me show you the components in the front of the car. First I have the large battery box here in the front and that contains the other half of the batteries. Sitting on top of that is the manual service disconnect and it allows me to move a handle basically and turn off voltage to the rest of the car. It also splits the pack in half which makes the voltage much less and makes it safer. Lastly, over here is the brake booster, brake master cylinder, and brake fluid reservoir. I am using the iBooster power assist brakes from the Bolt to give electric power brakes. Here in the interior is where most of the work still needs to be done. All of the low voltage wiring is sitting in the passenger area and will need to be cleaned up. The 12 volt battery is behind where the passenger seat should go and the screens and the shifter are just zip tied into place temporarily. The steering wheel and accelerator pedal are straight out of the bolt, but the brakes are custom designed and built by me. Lastly, before I drive the car for the very first time, I was able to weigh the car last night. The original weight of the DeLorean with the gas engine was 2,850 pounds. And the car, as it sits right now, weighs 2,975 pounds. An increase of only 125 pounds. Less than 5% increase. Of course, the interior and cooling and a bunch of other things are going to bring that weight up, but I'm confident that the final weight will be pretty close to the original estimate of 3,200 pounds. This is great 
news. Okay, enough delays. Let's do this. Okay. And with that, I have an electric DeLorean. This has been a dream of mine for as long as I can remember. Uh, I actually do remember telling my wife, Emily, early when we were dating, that I always wanted to buy a DeLorean and convert it to an electric vehicle. And now I have. This is Project Lightning. <laughs>